Well, folks, the day has come, and it's a warm one. We are going to deer camp. I am so excited. Ready to get out of town. As you can see, did an excellent job packing. Super organized. We're kind of throwing the kitchen sink out of this here. We got a lot of different tags. Almost even brought my bow, but I'm not feeling that optimistic. Anyway. Let's go kill some. We gotta stop at the camper first. Originally we were gonna bring it, uh, but I gotta grab a cot out of it and stay in the deer shack. Here we are, Riggy Smalls, the big wagon. Woo. That's what I need right there. Like I said, we were originally gonna take this up to deer camp, but we had a couple guys drop out and the roads are awfully salty to be hauling this thing around because it's just kind of a pain in the ass to clean and the salt is not good for the fiberglass. Close. Time to let the turbo a sing. Just rolled in. As beautiful as I remember it. Let's go find uh, find our friends. See what the plan is. Just met up with Zach. Turns out we're gonna stay up on top of the hill here, not down by the barnyard. Look at it. Glorious deer camp. Oh, it's gonna be a good week. We're right up next to the woods, so we won't have to walk so far in the morning. I'm excited. I'm very excited. It sounds like they shot about three or four bucks last weekend, but this is a pretty big property, so we got a lot left to hunt here. Oh, here we are. It has been too long since I've been up here. Glorious. Oh, wonderful. Nothing better. You don't get views like this anywhere else. Because nowhere else has the shack. There is nothing quite like the first deer of beer camp. Did I say beer camp? All right, well, we're headed in night one here. Let's see what happens. Yeah. The other guys decided to show up late, so they're missing out on the best opportunity. All right, this one's for you if I get one. That's going to be the, the glory shot right there. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, after a bit of a fiasco, a combination of me not listening to directions and also not paying attention to where I was, I have found Le Tree Stand. Zach told me to go to. Probably could have been here a half hour earlier if I had paid attention. Well, we made it into the stand. Um, who knows, maybe we'll see something tonight. That'll be kind of nice. I just realized this is the first time I've sat in a stand all season. It feels good. The ground hunting was starting to get old. This whole area behind me got hit by a tornado about six, eight years ago. And it's really changed the landscape of hunting up here. But in a way, it's kind of made it better because there's so much cover now. It's grown back so thick, but it's almost impossible to walk through this stuff. Well, didn't really have much action tonight. I didn't even hear any shots from over where Zach was sitting. Uh, but we got all weekend, so I'm going to go meet him back at the shack. So, Zach, you see anything tonight? Nothing. Some cows mooing and a couple of big tom turkeys, but other than that, we didn't get anything out there. Yeah, oh well. We'll hit it again hard tomorrow. Yeah, we'll start as early as AP could roll out of bed and smoke a cigarette. <laughs> and we'll hold him to that one, too. AP, you joined us. Cheers, man. Cheers to the hunt. Yes. If we ever make it out into the woods. <laughs> Did you just find that? On that it was stash? on the floor. <laughs> How long well, do you think that's been here? At least two it's years. Ageless. <laughs> it only gets better with age. <laughs> Take a whiff. That's oh 100% ethanol. If we it's run like... out of gasoline, we could run the generator on that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that brings back memories. I bet I could light it up. No, don't light the whole jar, you idiot. We need to drink it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's corn gas. <laughs> we got shot glass. Oh, we got to light the light. The, light. the ceremonial torch needs to be lit. Da, 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 da. <laughs> She's burning. Let her rip, AP. Let's go. Let's the go. games oh. have begun. All right. That's... That is all of a winter's firewood supply right there. <laughs> she was been. She was made by man. She could be torn down by man day every day. Kyle, so, you made it! I did, I only got pulled over once. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Great success. <laughs> well, we may be uh, a bit late to the shooting light today. <laughs> yeah. We let the swamp have this dawn. <laughs> Look who decided to join us. The Jimmer himself. You know, I didn't even go through Menominee on the way up here. Messed up. I went through Clear Lake. What a mistake. Fuck. Be in this area. Right. So, is it? I have no idea. So there's the stands, like right here. Okay, it's right. Around. Well, we woke up too late to go stand hunting, so yeah, we'll we're doing out. the old drive. Shooting wearing weirds. a few too many layers on the bottom end for this, but whatever. Mm -hmm.
Well, I'm a sitter for this first drive, and so is Eric. You might be able to see him. He is out yonder, kind of behind a tree. Anyway, they're going to walk through this really thick, super overgrown stuff and hopefully push deer towards us. I am in a very sketchy tree stand of my own doing. I hung this like three years ago. And, uh... It's, uh, not super sturdy. But I got a harness on now, so we're good. Well, I can hear those guys out there, but it sounds like we're gonna bail on this spot. It's just too thick. This tornado blowdown stuff. And regen is just impossible to walk through. I almost didn't make it out to the stand, and I just had to walk like 30 yards. Attempt number two at a deer drive. Uh, we're a bit more spread out. We're going to be pushing north through uh, some more open woods than what we were in. But as you can see, it's still pretty thick back here. Yeah, I Classic seen Eric, on camera. <laughs> showing off deer he didn't shoot. One of his horns is busted. Over there. Yeah, I remember oh, seeing yeah. him on camera, and I was like, oh, I wonder where that fox went. <laughs> Turns out right here. Well, we just got done with a little bit of breakfast. Uh, Eric actually shot at a doe on one of our drives this morning, but he missed it. So we're gonna head back towards camp. Keep driving our way up there. Got the boys laid out, and we're about to push through this alder patch. Kyle and Zach are getting up into a cornfield on top. And thus, we take to the woods again. Take it. Yeah, One to can. the east. <laughs> uh, One to the north. <laughs> Headed back to that stand I was in last night. <clears throat> Didn't have any action, but... We've been pushing the deer around a lot today, and this is one area they haven't been in, so, or we haven't come in, so. Hopefully, there's some hiding down here. They'll be coming out of their bedding areas. Not much action so far. It's uh, a bit breezy, but I think that'll play in our favor from where the deer supposedly should be coming from. Still no action. Unfortunately, I just realized something. I think one of the O-rings in this scope has given up the ghost and it's letting in moisture, which is making my sight picture insanely blurry. So I don't even know if something walked out if I could shoot it. Check that out. Let's see if I can focus here. You see that cloudiness? That's moisture getting in and condensating on the lens. All the nitrogen must have leaked out, so I'll have to get this scope replaced. It's just a cheap one that came with the rifle. So if you got any good scope recommendations, uh, let me know. Well, no action. The shooting light is over, so we are out of here. tradition one must uphold at deer camp. It is the watching of Escanab in the moonlight. Should have won the Oscar. 
audio experience. Well, the boys are still sleeping in the shack. I'm packing the shotgun today because of my scope issue. We're gonna head to that same stand and give it a... This will be the last try at this stand. I got a plan for tonight if this doesn't work out. Okay, we are in the stand. The woods are super quiet this morning. Not a lot of wind. Kind of cold. Should be good for deer. Got a fisher coming through. Can't really see him. One weaselly boy. Just heard two shots. Texted AP. He's got one down. He was actually driving them towards me. So there might still be some coming, but we got one in camp. Meat in the freezer. Well, AP, you have killed a tag. We did it. We did something right, guys. Quite my best effort. We got a deer. <laughs> I don't know what this wee business is. I was sleeping. <laughs> Where was Eric? He really didn't help. <laughs> well, nothing like realizing we almost burned to death the night before. Whoop. Something tells me that that plug wasn't rated for the amps we were drawing. I don't think it was. <laughs> it's cool. Oh, no, it's cool. be fine, but uh, <laughs> there's a rubberized plug head too, so I'm hoping she'll just snap right off. Electricity is a fickle beast in the woods. I think we learned that the shack wasn't quite to code. But Maybe it was back in the well, 80s when it was built. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's too, too much juice from the predator. Alrighty. The cooler produced some ice cold John Deere beer. She's a little frosty. It's for the farmers, AP. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, with camp coming to a close, we gotta tow the shack back. Nothing like towing the entire deer camp down sketchy ATV trails. Well, we are headed in for our final sit of the 2022 Wisconsin rifle season. Except we're going to hunt some metro antlerless deer next week, so stay tuned for that. But let's see if we can't get a buck tonight. AP's going to. Uh, a little bit north of me, I'm covering the same ridge. I'm just gonna sit that same stand and see if uh, something decides to pop out. Will we see a deer tonight? These are questions. Questions that only time will answer. Well, I think I'm gonna sign off here. <clears throat> I'll let you know if I shoot something tonight, but. As of now, I think we're going to shut down the season. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.